Good day, everybody. Whether you're in sixth grade computers with Mr. Harmon, Miss Postma, or Miss Rowland, we're going to start with the starfish story. To begin, click on open, and the starfish story will be open in front of you. It'll have your name after it. I've got a Mod Tech Middle School account, but this will have your name instead. And then your job is to watch the training provided pausing and completing each step as you go. If you get stuck, back up and watch again. If at some point you are still struggling, you may raise your hand and have your teacher come help you. But make sure that before you ask for the teacher's help, you try and complete the training. Let's begin by putting our name, date, and hour up at the top. And we want to put them to the right. If you hover over these, see how it says left align, center align, and right align, we want to use right align. Simply type your name and press enter. Notice it stays to the right and then as you type the month that it currently is and the date and the year and press enter it moves down to the next line. And then simply type in the hour that you have computers. You did a really nice job on the right align. Let's take the title and the author and select them by clicking in front of the Y and dragging to the end of the name so they are highlighted or selected and let's choose center align. At this point you may have noticed that these are the items that we're going to do. You could leave them as a checklist so you could tell when you were finished but I'm going to select from the top to the bottom and I'm going to use the backspace key to get rid of them. I see one extra line so I'm going to hit delete and get rid of that as well. We want our title to stand out, so click in front of the Y and drag to the end of that line, and let's pick a new font. Fonts are the letters that show up. There are many to pick from. Please just pick one that looks kind of snazzy, and then also change the size. You'll notice once again I selected it, and I'm going to pick the size 24 because it fits nice on this page. You can pick other sizes, but you want to make sure that it only takes up one line and it's not distracting. Sometimes you may want to use bold, italics, and underline, but we'll skip those for this piece of the project. Instead, we want to go to the text color and pick a color that you think is amazing. You have just completed Lesson 1's first movie, and it's time for you to move on to the second movie of the Lesson 1 training.